Hi, I have a complicated looking circuit with me. I would like all of you to pause the video and try and figure out the current through this 12 volt battery. Now let's solve this circuit. For a minute, let's assume that this 5 ohm and 7 ohm resistors are not there. I am going to remove these two resistors. Let me choose this point and write the potential here to be 0 volt. Since this is an ideal wire, all through the potentials have to be the same. So the potential in all of these points is the same 0, 0 and 0. Now if the potential here is 0 and this is a 12 volt battery, the potential at this point has to be 12 more than the potential there. So this has to be equal to 12 volt. And since this is also an ideal wire, all through the potentials have to be the same. So the potential has to be 12, 12 and 12. Now let's try and figure out the potential drop across this 3 ohm resistor. For that, I am going to assume a current I1 through this branch. The same current also flows through this 6 ohm resistor. We know that potential drop across a resistor along the direction of current is given by V is equal to IR. But if current flowing through the resistors are the same, we know that V is going to be directly proportional to R. That is, if I is same, V is going to be directly proportional to R. So if I assume that the potential drop here is X, the potential drop here has to be 2x because 6 is 2 times 3. So therefore, potential drops have to be x and 2x. We also know that x plus 2x has to be 12. So I can write x plus 2x to be equal to 12 and therefore 3x is equal to 12, x is equal to 4. Once we have figured out that this x is equal to 4 volt, it's easy to figure out the potential at this point because the potential at this point has to be 12 minus 4 that is 8 volts. Similarly, let's try and figure out the potential drops in this branch. So let me assume a current I2. 8 is 2 times 4. So therefore, if the potential drop here is y, the potential drop here has to be 2y. And we know that y plus 2y has to be equal to 12, which implies y should be equal to 4. If y is equal to 4 volts, this point has a potential of 8 volts. The same thing can be repeated for this third branch also. Let's assume that the potential drop is z. 12 is 2 times 6. Therefore, the potential drop here has to be 2z. And we also know that z plus 2z, which is 3z, that has to be equal to 12 and z is also equal to 4 volt. If z is 4, if this point has a potential of 12 volt, the potential at this point has to be 8 volt. Now let's replace those resistors. Let's put those resistors back in place. If you observe carefully, the potential drop across this 5 ohm resistor is 0 because the potential here is 8, the potential here is also 8. So therefore, no current flows through this 5 ohm resistor. Similarly, if we observe the potential drop across this 7 ohm resistor, it is also 0 because the potentials are 8 and 8. So therefore, no current flows through this 7 ohm resistor as well. So it is as good as these two resistors not being there. So let me remove those two resistors and clear the board and we will continue solving the problem. Okay. So we get back to this particular circuit. So all of those resistors were removed. So we have a 3 ohm resistor and a 6 ohm resistor, a 4, 8 and a 6, 12. Now this is a very simple circuit to solve because we have a 3 ohm resistor, 6 ohm resistor in series. So 3 and 6, if they are, if they are in series, I can replace these two with a single 9 ohm resistor. Similarly, I can replace this two with a single 12 ohm resistor, I can replace these two resistors with a single 18 ohm resistors. Right? So let me again redraw the circuit. We get back to this. So there is a 9 ohm resistor, 12 ohm resistor and an 
18 ohm resistor. We can see for ourselves that these three resistors are in parallel connection. So therefore, let's figure out the equivalent resistance. Equivalent resistance is 1 by R equivalent has to be equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. So 1 by R equivalent turns out to be 1 by 9 plus 1 by 12 plus 1 by 18. Right? So let's figure out the LCM turns out to be 36. So into 4 into 4. This is going to be into 3 into 3. This is going to be into 2 into 2. So this is going to be 4 plus 3 plus 2 divided by 36, which is going to be 9 by 36, which is 1 by R equivalent. So from here, we can see that R equivalent is nothing but 4 ohms. This means instead of all of these three resistors, I can remove all of these three resistors and replace it with a single 4 ohm resistor. Right? I just have a single 4 ohm resistor. Now this problem should be fairly easy to solve because if the potential here is 0, here also the potential is 0. The potential here has to be 12, the potential here is 12. Now if I assume a current I in this direction, the potential drop along the direction of current is IR and the potential drop is 12 minus 0 has to be equal to I into R is 4 ohms. So we get 12 by 4 is equal to I which implies I is equal to 3 ampere and 3 ampere is the right answer to this question.